Good morning guys. Going on a ski trip is a huge deal. It takes a lot of planning and a lot of organization and often there are a lot of mistakes that are made whether you're going for the first time or whether you're an experienced ski traveler. So today I'm going to talk about the biggest ski travel mistakes that you can avoid. Numbers one to four are going to be about the booking aspect of your ski trip. And number one is booking midday flights. This is a mistake because there is a high probability that when you arrive in your destination, it's going to be late, it's going to be dark, it's going to be cold. You won't know exactly where it is that you are. And if the weather's been bad on the road that's delayed you even further, there's a high risk that if you arrive at the hotel, you're not going to have been made it in time to have the dinner, which is something that you purposefully paid for. I would highly recommend booking an early morning flight, so one of the first ones that is going out of the airport. It is worth getting up very early morning so that when you arrive in your destination, it's light, you know exactly where you are, you've got checked into your hotel, uh, you have the opportunity to start getting familiar with your surroundings. And number two is booking your ski holiday for before Christmas. Now this is a huge risk. First of all, People individually have certain times that they can only go away on holiday, whether it's because of work or because of family. In the case of European skiing, 10 years ago, it would have been far less risk to have gone on a ski trip before Christmas. However, 10 years gone by now, there is less and less guarantee of good snow conditions before Christmas. This is something which unfortunately uh, the ski industry as a whole has had to adapt to due to it. But as I said, you run the risk if you go out before Christmas of not getting full value for the money that you're paying because not all the runs will be ready. Um, in some cases, not all of the resort will be open, whether that's bars, hotels, uh, public facilities, whether that's you know ice rinks or swimming pools, spa facilities. It's far better to look after the Christmas period to have a good ski trip. Following on from that, do not book your holiday under any circumstances at the peak times. Now this is the Christmas week, so you know, 25th of December, Christmas Eve, uh, New Year, and also the February half term. When you go on your ski holiday, you want to enjoy the slopes and you don't want to get ripped off. And sadly, you can do neither of those things when you go during those peak periods. The prices are high and the slopes are just round. So avoid going on holiday at this time. Number four is another flying mistake and that is not booking your ski luggage with your flight ticket. So if you have your own gear, you want to book those in before you get to the airport. The reason for this being is that when you do arrive at the airport and if you have forgotten to do this, you are going to be asked to pay for it. And depending on what airline it is, this can be a variety of different costs, but it's just an unnecessary surprise uh, to the start of your holiday if you fail to book this in before you get there. 